of the world. Yeah. In the Olympics, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no question. Him and all the Fox all right. players. Oh, man. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah. But uh, so we're gonna none have of those game characters. One. Yeah, game yeah. one. Kalos. Um, Rob loves this stage. I see King Art counterpick here all the time, so I guess. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Honestly, Mega Man gets a lot from trapping off the platform with Metal Blade in his hand and back air. That's a very yes. dangerous mix up. And also, he can just drop through platform with shield, and it covers the plat for a little bit while he's falling through, as long as he doesn't fast fall, and then it covers the ledge. So he gets a lot. Yeah, he does disgusting stuff with that platform over the ledge right there. And even just the, the side length on the edge of the stage is yeah. incredibly potent for Mega Man. Just the dropping projectiles is down air. Yeah. It's just absolutely. that all that space, you can't like juke around it, kind of yeah. just hold it. Incredibly so. solid. We see Dill really working Smash on his him. Oki right now. He's honestly, he's just found a lot of great tech chase situations. Getting the fuel, nice robo boost. Yeah, he definitely held on to that trick for a while. I definitely losing it. Is. Yeah, honestly, that seems to really save Rob. Like, he doesn't sacrifice fuel for it, and he's fine. The down throw mix up, what's oh, going to be? Oh, okay. This is the 50 50 right there, yeah. but we're approaching the percent where it's not even a 50 50 anymore, and yeah. you just die. Yeah, that was a great match from King Arc, though. Is that going to be it? The bad DI? I guess, actually, no, that was a good DI, because if you went the other way, he might have actually died off the side. Yeah, exactly. So, being that low, yeah, he definitely picked the optimal DI. Very nice in there. Dill just trying to meet him at the ledge. Doesn't quite find anything. Yeah, we're getting to the. Back throw, gonna put him off stage, and King Arc has been so threatening. Never mind, he's not scary at yeah, all. Yeah, Dill has actually found a lot of pretty crazy gyro snipes on his way back to the stage, and the more charge he has on it, the more time he gets to get off that wow. ledge. Wow, he Coming just off. threw out a button, yeah, and Mega he's gonna die to the spike. Yeah. He disappeared. Too that hitbox is still insane. Yeah, he, how big was that? Yeah, that honestly hit so far to the side of him, it's quite nice. He didn't get the up throw off the plat. I believe that's my point. What he wanted. Yeah, yeah, he would have even got a bigger. What was that? That was weird. Yeah, maybe like an up throw up air into something, you know? Yeah. Nice okay. up tilt. It's really just finding his anti air so far. Bro, I thought he was going to go for the side on. B, right? Or the down B? Yeah. Maybe Luigi? Nice. Oh, Great job, Luigi. That would have been crazy. I like Art, it. I love the this. Gyro off of him. Okay, nice tech, mm -hmm. I guess. And you see the gyro was just left on the stage as like a little present for Mega Man when he got back? Yeah. Like, hey, you still got to do it. Just yeah. You got to. Gotta... Gyro almost feels like a mobile trip tree sometimes. I guess you give a little throw. Not as crazy. Definitely not as good. Nowhere near as good. Cool, oh man. That move is something. But it, it can be really annoying when you mess up like your third pick up in a row on Gyro and you're taking like that tick of percent. Yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, that was guys. great maneuvering from Dill, so but sad. he did run out of so fuel. Sad. Yeah, just kind of overestimated it. Yeah, he, actually, I thought he got a little overconfident because he's recovering so well and he literally dodged. Ooh, Did you see that lagless right. landing from Ark with the leaf shield? That was fantastic. No, just, he cut his double jump short with it and just oh, landed and on stage super quick and got to apply pressure again. Great corner pressure, speaking of, coming from Dill. Keep him trapped. Let's nice. see if he can take the stock pre-200 this time. Yeah. This is taking it here pretty much seals up the game. Yeah. Uh, the Rob? ledge and Oki has been a lot of this game so far, honestly. Dill finding himself on the side platforms of the ledge, getting good punishes. So Solid. Bad, yeah, he just kept weird. him in the right corner of the map for most so of that long. stock. Yeah, definitely 100 plus percent. Yeah, easily insane. And that was an arc doing like exactly. the same getup option eight times in a row. Yeah, no, he was getting red coverage. and yeah. mixed every single time. He is a Diddy Kong player. He's gonna cover the ledge. Yo, deal with the ledges. Yeah, man, that's spooky the experience that I do not want to go through ever again. Great back here from Arc. He's running this back. He's got fuel. He does. But he puts himself right. He's getting a little over. Did he die? He wow. died off the top. Yeah, yeah you a can't see how that move in. Uh, you I wasn't ready to explode. You have to hold down. Yeah. Uh, I think Ark is a little bit too aggressive, especially in that situation where he's at 145. Yeah. Way too aggressive going off the stage right there because like, you're going to kill him with anything on the stage, like we saw with the fair there. So instead of giving. Like, Dill back the stage continuously going for the downers and stuff. Just like, yeah, exactly. He's let been, him grab the ledge. He's been actually playing the ledge so well, but looking for the edge guards. I understand why he wants it, but Rob just Taking gets to swing on his way back so yeah. much. Yeah. And you don't want to take that extra damage. For like no you, we get the bonus for going for it, but it's just like, yeah. Oh, if you I don't get the big air bonus, you just die. Yeah, he's losing like way too much. He actually took like 100 plus percent last time because of it. Okay, I like that a lot because the gyro is actually kind of covering Mega Man's drop down. Yeah. So even if he did hit him, he, there was probably no follow up and no way for him to die. Yeah, he had him completely cornered there. Great use of the map, the platforms. That was sick. Such item a coverage. good extension. Even yeah. with the leaf shield, they're doing stuff like that. Arc really knows his extension. Oh, that's a lot of damage. He's going to get mixed on the platform. So the fight. not respecting that side B at all. And it's oh, Dill end up got the read, problem. but didn't do anything. This is going to be it. It's going to be close. All right. Barry. What's he going for? Yeah. Great match from King Arc. Same thing as first stock. Just yeah. doesn't want to deal with that. Be it. 
Oh, on Dill top barely there. living. Hold, holding down that time, I think he realized how yeah. he has to DI it after Dill's he died. smart. He. Oh! Oh my that god! That mix was insane. Yo. He was. He was like. He was like. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Ah. Dude, he was just twerking off map the a little fame, bit, and then, dude. oh my god, bro, he threw it back on him. Mega Man's ankles are so oh. broken, oh. he fell over. That was sick, and he didn't have to deal with unit collision because he was in the air. That was actually some intense play by Dill. Great counterplay, especially, like, the whole game was played at the ledge there, so to make a comeback like that yeah. off of just pressure that seemingly resulted in 100% plus every single time one of them was there. And I love that he kept that trick in the bag yeah. the whole time with how much that game was played at the ledge. You know every single time the deal was floating underneath the stage like that, that, that mix was going through his head. That idea exactly. of that back air, and then he brought it out at such a clutch time. That yeah. was beautiful. Absolutely fantastic conditioning coming from Dill. I want to see what the reaction from King Ark is. It's going to be a counter the platforms Nova. in I a like that bit. a lot. Bring I like in. that. Yeah, I absolutely like it for Mega Man because up air off the platform, if you have stage under you, is so dirty. So, so, so dirty. You get a lot of damage, and Rob's a big boy, so he's going to take a lot of hits. Oh, you just combo it? Yeah. Yeah, Mega Man's damage output on his uh, aerials besides the lemon are all pretty large numbers. Yeah, absolutely insane. And I think the only problem here is that Rob deals with approaching Lemon quite well, just with rising aerials and gyro. But for the most part, Ark actually finds a lot of confirms off of F Tilt Nair. Yeah. Um, he is going to struggle to find him a little bit here, so he's definitely been making more use of Metal Blade confirms and Grab confirms, which I really like. These players are playing neutral so slow because they recognize that the first person to like get in a real disadvantage state is, it falls so far behind. It's almost like losing the stock. And we see Dill put Ark right where he doesn't want to be. Yeah. That was a great pellet pattern, but he doesn't get the hard hit in there, and it is going to spell trouble for him, but he finds his way out of the corner. Okay. Kyrk is getting hit by that um, laser that was pulling out his, his option to push forward every single time, and yeah. he finally shielded that and then just found... Yeah. You just have to respect it. Laser's transcendent. Like, it's the same thing with Wolf Laser. Like, yeah. at, a, at a certain point, you really have to respect it. In full charge, Laser does like 20 damage, I believe. Pretty intense. He rolled into the gyro. There's oh, great toss. He's just calling him out. That. He's calling him out. Oh, and he goes for the air dodge that time, but didn't go for a far push. It's actually going to that stock. Yeah, just going to keep putting the meaty buttons there. Realizes that he needs to swing a little bit what earlier. What is he doing? Wall jump. Oh, he lives. Yeah. Nice. He knows his stuff. Yeah, I guess you waited out the invincibility, but then you really set yourself up for a Rob downer there. Yeah, you got to like, be very careful, especially like starting with the oh, air dodge. But beautiful confirmed by Dill. Yeah. Perfect percent. It's so nice when Rob does like an up air and it's not out of a throw, you know? It always looks so lame when he like up throw, down throws you now, I guess. Yeah. He gives you a little. Into the up air. You're like, ah, I'm going to die to this. I like right? it. I like Rob's up tilt. That's a really sick anti -air. Yeah, he and raises the roof, bro. Yeah, absolutely. He's with it. Honestly, Dill's been making great full kit usage. He's been doing a little bit of everything so far. You don't see him really relying on any one specific tool. Very mix up heavy. Nice. Yeah, great was... pellet pattern. He's going to oh, find him the metal blade. for the back air. Maybe the up tilt. There. He might, yeah, he might not want to stale it. Up tilt. I'm wondering I mean, if he doesn't have the time. That missed? That's a trap. Yeah, yeah, that's a trap. He does it because you have the sticky attached to you, so yeah, you're you automatically thinking, I want to punish him for the down smash. Is that going to be it? Oh, my God. That would have been such a big turnaround yeah. for Dill. He could still find jump. it. Nice. Side he, oh, Dill. he barely died. He just got the jump off. Yeah, I think he didn't. He just had to DI for a little bit longer and just keep oh. holding in. He might have been confirmed dead, but not 100%. It's, it's close when it's like that. But Dill starting... Big damage off early. Already yeah. racking up a quick 59, and he still hasn't lost his stock. Yeah, really making the most of this momentum. Very nice parry. Rob's going to lens with Nair. You got it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like I mean, it's speed. like a frame, what, 17, 18 move? So. And it, yeah, so you should be able to parry it. Yeah, you can even. definitely parry that on reaction. If you understand where this character wants to move. The thing is just the mix-up timing with Rob, especially when he has his item in his hand. Pretty yeah, scary. you especially do not want to get hit by that. Now that, that, was, that. that was so parry. smart. Yeah, he really understands how meaty Rob's buttons are. He's been picking up on it a lot. An air dodge, not going to find anything off of a very scary situation nice. for Rob. Dill a little bit too reliant on ledge roll so far, and King Ark is getting a lot off of it. Dill's kind of just jumping off the ledge or ledge rolling. I mean, he hasn't really been relying on neutral gun. And King Ark's approaching this really scary percent where it doesn't really matter. Oh, that was almost this could be it, 50-50. Finally finds here? it. No, out of percent range for the up air to reach, it looks like. Yeah. Or did he react slow? Second least on life for Possibly King Possibly a little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Nice. Oh, doesn't get we the strong hit. Great. That might have been SDI, honestly. It could have been, but he was also getting hit by the leash shield, so he's already popped up before the metal blade. True, true. Like, he was already in the air. Wow. Very I've, like, nice never seen that move kill. 
That's and gonna be he's it, gonna yeah. find the side B. Fantastic Beautiful option play by Doge. Yeah, Beautiful. honestly, both of them played the uh, played the ledge so well that entire set. But Dil just made the most of it. And honestly, it was more so who found themselves getting off the ledge because King Art, yeah. once he was there, he took about a hundred at minimum. Like look at 80%. that, you're just yeah. had a weird recovery. I think he could have recovered way better than that and yeah. not force the situation. But you know what? Dil can just run off the stage and he'll do that side B, and it's gonna catch Mega Man's up B. Yeah.